A legitimate concern, sometimes shared by those who have not had the pleasure of experiencing a U.S. river cruise, is how will I keep from being bored? Often the river cruise will feature a theme appealing to either males or females. A quilting cruise is an example. Although perhaps appealing to females, what will be there for a companion male to do and enjoy? The simple truth of the matter is that on quality U.S. river cruises, there are excellent and rewarding ways for everyone to stay as busy as they alone desire. In fact, there will always be more things available than humanly possible for a person to accomplish. Having recently had the privilege of cruising aboard the American Queen, I can report the following firsthand. There was excellent included dining. Inspired by America's heartland and our southern culture, American Queen's menu showcased the varied cultural and culinary influences of America. In the elegant J.M. White dining room, all meals were filled with abundant, outstanding food selections accompanied by excellent service. A more casual atmosphere was available in the Front Porch Cafe. Meals there featured favorite main dishes, such as roast prime rib, alongside irresistible sides such as roasted new potatoes, classic mac and cheese, and fresh salads are just a few of the examples. There was also one-of-a-kind included entertainment. Stunning live performances were scheduled each night in the two-story Grand Saloon, ranging from big band sounds to Broadway-type productions. Mark Twain also made more than one appearance, providing personal answers and observations to the questions and goings-on of his time. Dancing to live music was also available in the engine room, and there were also plenty of smaller areas to just plain relax, have a pleasant conversation, play cards, or enjoy your favorite included hard or soft drinks. There were also many opportunities to learn. Learning about the region we traveled through was easy because of the number of learning opportunities offered. No-cost guided hop-on, hop-off shore excursions were available in the cities visited, and more in-depth experiences, like, for example, a comprehensive experience of the Vicksburg Civil War battlefield, uh, are but examples. Another was a day-long Cajun experience that included a lunch featuring delicious Cajun food, live music, and dances of the area. An airport swamp tour, or I should say an airboat swamp tour, and an up-close look at the Cajun way of life. And of course, we also had up-close exposure to the sugarcane influence upon the agriculture of the area. Additionally, there was an onboard historian providing lectures on the history and culture surrounding us as we rolled down the river. Truly, on a U.S. river cruise, America's history comes alive. And then there was just pure relaxation. The rhythm of the river invited all of us to take a deep breath and enjoy the simple moments. Taking in the sunrise with a cup of coffee while sitting in the swings of the front porch of America, or having a free drink at the river grill as we watched the paddle wheel turn and listened to the sound of the calliope were but several of the examples. Truly, friends, on a U.S. river cruise with all its history, America literally passes in front of you as you silently pass by in a way not otherwise possible. <laughs>